Hey there, my name is Sean Carpentier. We are in Bel Air Park in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and we're checking out one of the first murals of the two murals I did at this park here for the Mural Love Program. So I chose Bel Air Park as one of the, the places I applied to when I was looking up all the different walls to do murals because I've always seen parks as a very good open areas within cities and it's very important to, for cities to have places like this for people to air out, sit down, relax, kind of, you know, enjoy some nature. So yeah, this park, I was thinking these murals really add to people's, you know, leisure time when they're hanging out here, kind of feel a little more open, not just gray walls. And I, I feel like I accomplished that with these murals for sure. Okay, so this is the first section of the mural over here at Bel Air Park. And we have the coyote making his way through this landscape, you know, on his journey. And um, as we continue on this way, you see his forests and kind of like the sandias and foothills and trees and all that, all, you know, all the, all the stuff we're all part of around here. And then we move to the other side of the park to the second section of the mural. Well, um, first, first coming here, I noticed the wall was very long and uh, could honestly use a mural down the entire wall, but um, you can only do so much. So I chose these two 70 foot sections on either side of the park to kind of balance it out. So both sides of the park have, you know, some, some new color and some stimulation, so, you know, just like something new and different. Here we are at the second section of the mural. And this side is kind of mirrored so the uh, the Datura flowers are, you know, all both towards the center. And it kind of walks through the journey of this bobcat down here, kind of making the same journey from the other side of the spectrum. One of my probably biggest inspirations for these pieces is the surrounding landscape and the animals and plants and, and the things that grow here in the high desert in such a, you know, kind of harsh environment and you know, the resilience of all those things. So I portrayed a coyote and a bobcat and, uh, you know, some very resilient animals from the New Mexico terrain. I kind of made it look cold on either end, so it almost looks like they're coming from the cold and they're, and they're making their way through these landscapes that are very colorful and beautiful, and then there's a lot of dangers within all that beauty. And I think that's very inspiring for me and that's showing that, you know, it's a journey. It's not always easy and it's not always hard. And it's, it's all the in-between that really counts. And I, um, I really want to just portray like a process or like a journey that we're all kind of undertaking, especially in these crazy times. Hopefully people could relate to these animals and these plants and, and our surrounding environment that, that really uh, makes us who we are, really. I would say the most special thing about muralism is sharing with the community because it really is inclusive of everybody. It's not like it's just in a gallery and only people with money or potential to buy something can see it. It's for everyone around here, even the homeless people here, even the, you know, whoever comes around can sit here and enjoy these murals in this public space. And that's honestly why I got into public art in, in the beginning is, is it's, uh, I feel like a, I'm giving back to the greater community and contributing my skill, you know, to, to the whole a little bit more. I thank you, you know, everyone who pays taxes and everyone who's made these possible, you know, because it's a dream come true for me and I, I just hope that everyone can appreciate it and uh, see the value in this kind of stuff because more and more I think we all see that Creativity is, is uh, what's going to get us out of all this mess. <laughs>